Hey friends, this is Kruti Kulkarni, your host. I am a medical student studying in second year Navodaya Medical College, Raichur, Karnataka. Firstly, I, am, uh, I express my gratitude for overwhelming response for my previous video. Thank you so much for all the likes, subscribers, uh, views, comments. Thank you so much. I am grateful to you all. Okay, today's topic. Um, I thought I will be telling as a medical student, I will be dealing with uh, a new drug that has come, 2DG, to curb COVID-19. COVID um, yeah, so off late we see news uh, regarding um, uh, crisis of oxygen cylinders or oxygen concentrators, uh, remdesivir, yeah number of news. So to come uh, out of this, there is a new drug called 2DG that has come into market. Thanks to DRDO affiliated company uh, in mass. Yeah. So, uh, what exactly is 2DG? 2DG uh, stands for 2 deoxy D glucose. It is structurally similar to glucose. Firstly, we need to get to know what exactly happens in human body. Every carb uh, carbohydrate that you take is broken down finally into glucose. This glucose is converted to its final product that is pyruvate or lactate plus it gives energy. This whole process uh, is called as glycolysis. There are 10 steps in this process. This is the way uh, the, we get energy to do our day to day activities in life. Now what 2DG does is this drug is pretty much similar to glucose so it uh, the cells that are affected uh, by the virus takes up 2dg instead of glucose because it is structurally similar so this is called as competitive inhibition it is a medical term okay so uh, when this 2dg is taken up this 2dg doesn't let glycolysis to complete it stops this process in step 2. This step 2 is uh, taken care by the enzyme phosphoglucoisomerase enzyme. Yeah. So because the whole process is not taking place, there is no energy yield that otherwise would have yield if glucose would be present. So because there is no energy yield over here, what happens is the virus cannot replicate further. Usually uh, a virus, any virus for that matter, is non-living outside. In the environment is not living. When it infects a person, when it enters its host, it gets its lifelike activities. Like the, in, uh, sorry, the virus SARS-CoV-2 infects a host who now suffers with the disease COVID-19 in his body. There are cells called as monocytes and macrophages. These two cells in a normal human uh, attributes the property of immune system. But when in an uh, infected person, when SARS-CoV-2 affect a, a person, in this this is what happens is, this takes into control macrophages and monocytes. So they basically function the way this virus wanted to function. They start producing copies of viral. Uh, they start producing copies of virus. It helps the virus to replicate. Yeah. So, uh, what uh, what exactly happens is whenever macrophages and monocytes are affected by this virus, they become metabolic metabolically more active. So, they try to take in more glucose. When they try, and then with this increase intake of glucose they convert it into uh, with the help of glycolysis they get energy this energy they use uh, to help virus replicate so the virus replicates in the covid-19 patient's body if whenever this 2dg uh, drug is given instead of glucose this is going to accumulate in the uh, macrophages and monocytes which are now under the control of the virus. 
So basically, the the number of viral replication, that is the number of virus in the body of a patient, is going to decrease. So this way, two D G functions. Other uh, places where this can be given is in cancer patients. What happens is, whenever usually what is cancer? Cancer is where there is tumor. Uh, that is in our cell, in our normal body also, certain cells go after their lifespan. and then they are replaced by new cells so cell division uh, these new cells come from cell division so uh, cell division takes place in our body in a controlled manner if it takes place in uncontrolled manner then uh, there will be accumulation of cells that takes place due to which there is a tumor and this is called as cancer so the extra cellular mass that accumulates is the tumor and that is cancer to curb this what we do is we use irradiation that is radiation we use with this irradiation usually there is cell death but some cells do not die they are just damaged to such damaged cells when 2 dg is given what it does is again the same it do not let glu- instead of glucose it is going to be uh, uptaken by these cells due to which what happens uh, energy is not yielding because glycolysis is not taking place no energy then the cells cannot repair that is a damaged cell cannot repair if it is not repairing it should go to death because it is already damaged this is how it can be used in case of cancer only uh, ill effects if dosage is not appropriate is it can lead to hypoglycemia or cardiac side effects when qt interval increases though if dosage is appropriate no side effects will be seen so uh, this drug has got a uh, permission to be marketed now its first uh, first clinical trials began in um, april 2020 next phase 2 trials began from may 2020 it took until october 2020 and then next phase 2 a trials were also done in affiliations with many other hospitals and then phase 3 trials were done in certain states including delhi karnataka west bengal telangana tamil nadu etc and finally it has got its uh, it has proven this drug has proven itself to be effective to reduce oxygen consumption that is this is usually administered to the patients who are in uh, who are affected by covid 19 who are covid-19 patients who are affected by sars cov2 virus the patients uh, who are into moderate who fall into the category of moderate to severe it is not given to mild patients usually moderate to severe patients require oxygen so to cut down the usage of oxygen or remdesivir we can give 2 dg tablets this is the basic use of 2 dg um uh, thanks to the indian scientist drdo affiliated in mass uh ccmb and uh, all other scientists who have taken part in uh, preparation of such a great drug which has left all the western countries in awe they uh, they have dropped their mouth it is a huge invention hope this helps our country to get out of the situation this pandemic at the earliest um uh, i need to thank a special person over here my senior uh, shushan sir for having given all the necessary information for making this video if this video was useful uh, it has taken a lot of hard work so please do consider hitting the like button over there do subscribe and share this video with many as much as possible also keep supporting thank you